The Sylacauga City Council announced on Tuesday uh, numerous uh, announcements, but one was the uh, announcement of the Sylacauga Police Department and Sylacauga Police Chief, and he joins us this morning, New Chief Rondell Mears, who's no stranger to law enforcement in our area. And Chief, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Um, well, good to have you with us this morning. Let's first talk about uh, a little history of your background as far as law enforcement. Well, um, I started at Tally County Sheriff's Department, in which I worked there for three years. And then um, when I decided to come a little bit closer home here to Sylacauga, I've been here going on 30 years now. A long time, right? Yes, sir. And they captain what, eight years ago? Eight years ago, yeah. when Christ was a corporal. Yeah. So I know you've got a lot of people that you want to thank for your new position. A lot of people have played a role in that. And I know you and Kelly Johnson, former police chief, are real tight. And a lot of yes, people sir. to thank this morning, too. Yes, sir. Uh, first and foremost, God, you know, uh, through him all things are possible. My wife, Jackie Merritt, uh, some people, she's a granddaughter of Lily Merritt from Alpine, mm -hmm. so some people may know her. And then uh, my family, my mother, she taught here for 33 years at Sylacauga, Josephine Muse Cleveland. So um, I consider myself a testament to her and what she's done for this community. I just want to continue it. Yeah. Now, how many children do you have? I Five boys and five <laughs> girls. <laughs> I'll keep you young, Chief. Ooh, what you talking about? <laughs> Uh, let's talk a little bit of, about uh, uh, the position of Silicon Police Chief. I know Kelly Johnson retired uh, back some months ago, and you worked hand-in-hand -hand with uh, uh, Kelly Johnson for several years as well. Yes, sir. I've been uh, interim police chief since he left, and uh, I'm a certified law enforcement executive, in which there, that, at that position, uh, there are some police chiefs in Alabama that don't that don't achieve that. What does that mean? So uh, that means that at the, when you go to the police academy, you get your certification as a police officer. Then uh, the, the highest you can go in Alabama is become a certified law enforcement executive, and that's given to you by the Alabama Peace Officer Standards Training Commission. So you start at the bottom, that's the top you can achieve. Like I said, some chiefs in Alabama don't even have that certification. Wow. that's fantastic. So uh, I was ready. Yeah, no doubt about that. And uh, it's, I don't know, uh, a, a dream of yours would be the uh, right description, but what does it mean to you to be police chief here? Well, actually, I had no desire to become police chief, okay? I really didn't. I wanted to do what I could for the city and to get going on. But then I got to thinking, am I done? There's more, there's more that needs to be done here in Slokada, and I can't leave until I see it through. Mm. Well, congratulations on uh, your new position as Sylacauga uh, Police Chief. Uh, I know we've got some new vehicles on the road now, but that's just uh, some of others to come, right? Yes, sir. Uh, a transition from Explorers over to F-150 trucks. Why, why that? Gas mileage. Okay. Uh, an Explorer, even though they're great vehicles, they don't pass a gas station. You might stop. <laughs> we, we run 12-hour shifts, and you may have to fill up twice. Wow. But that F-150, 26 to 36 gallon tanks, we can go through a whole cycle without having to refill. In the end, with that, it, it, it not only equates out, but it does better. Okay? And then comfortability for transports, more room. You know, uh, there's some people large and some people small. Don't look but, at me when you say large well, like that. <laughs> look at me. So more comfortability, more room, and uh, it, it's it's more economical for the city. The, mo the most important thing is to be cost effective. And after looking at the study of doing that, these will do that. So how many do we have now and how many more are we expecting and what time frame are we looking at? We have five. Uh, I'm going to purchase four more next week and it takes three to four months to get them on the road with all the equipment and all that and then uh we should be just fine wow fantastic uh what are some ideas you have for enhancing the silicaga pd well it, crime violent crimes rising property crimes rising uh the criminals nowadays use the same technology you and i use cell phones computers, even going to a gas station, maybe a, scan, a scammer on it. You have to be careful of that. I want to bring the Silicon Police Department into 
those type of things to help combat that, to combat the scammers, and also to work on increasing safety for our community. So uh, technology advances where we need to go. Uh, we need some more officers too, right? We're seven short. And although we are continuing to provide safety for the city for what we have, our guys are really working long hours and dedicated to doing that. And the more people we have, the more we can give them a break so they can enjoy their families mm -hmm. like you and I do. So how do we compete with other jurisdictions for officers? Everybody's looking for them. Well, here in Sylacauga, Talladega County exclusively, not, well, not exclusively, one of the new things in trending in today's law enforcement is the take-home vehicle program, mm -hmm. okay? Sylacauga is the only department in Talladega County that does not offer that. The Sheriff's Department offers it, Chillsbury offers it, Lincoln offers it. We have cops living Cops living in Sylacauga who work in Helena PD, who work in Shelby County, who work in Harpersville. That's one of the things this generation values. Time off, take home vehicle. So why that not? That means so, uh, their, their vehicle that they use here? Stays with okay, them. Okay. They drive it home, it comes to work with them. If they're gonna go to the store on the way home, they can stop at the store. Mm -hmm. It increases visibility. Yeah. And it, it and in order for us to compete with them, we need to do the same thing. Yeah, wow. We're joined by Silicon Police Chief uh, Rondell Muse, and uh, Chief Muse just announced on Tuesday as a uh, uh, Silicon Police Chief. And uh, what else do you have on the table maybe in, in the coming months and years to uh, ensure the safety of our Silicon citizens? Well, I, the drug and opioid. Uh, abuse is really, really bad. It's really, really bad here in Sylacauga. Um, I want to in help the drug task force by giving them another member. Of course, I haven't been able to do that because we are short-handed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, the, to protect our kids, our children, because this generation is coming up is what's going to take care of things for us. Okay, you know, uh, Kids nowadays, sometimes they don't have people to look up to. They don't have role models. It's a fortune to say, but that's where we are. And uh, as a police department, we, we get into youth programs. We're trying to show them a better way, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, if we can do that, if we can bring the community together to help each other, it takes a village, then maybe our future will be a lot better. Chief Silicaga is, is not unlike other cities with our schools. Uh, you know, there have been issues in schools all across the country, and, and our school system is not immune to any of that. That's correct. And uh, our investigators, in conjunction with the school uh, personnel, of course, have jumped on top of this. And we have, we so far, and not going to fabricate a wood, yeah. we've been able to uh, refute all other threats that have come. It's it's like that's unfortunately where our country is right yeah. now. I hate to say that. You know, you got uh, all this telecommunication stuff, and and you got you got Facebook, you got texting, and and it's easy for anybody to get on there, and they could be just fooling around. That's it. Uh, I call them keyboard warriors. Mm. They'll sit there and say all kinds of things on Facebook and TikTok or whatever the case may be, but never look you in your face and say it. That's crazy. And, and you know, when people are doing this, whether they're teenagers or, or adults, uh, even though they may think it is, is a joke, it's serious business. It is serious business. You should never, uh, even something as simple as, hey, look at me, I'm at the beach eating, drinking uh, a, a Coke. And then, okay, let's go rob your house. People should keep their lives to themselves. Mm. Keep your business to yourselves. I mean, if, if you want to help out, help build a homeless shelter. Go to a community and feed somebody. You know, bring somebody to church with you. Other than that, being divisive on, on, on social media, to me, that's just silly. So, uh... I don't know, earlier this week, where uh, 
uh, the the wharf out on Highway 280. That's uh, uh, you know I've been trying to get open for a while. Uh, they had gone away and come back and restarted the the building process. And I understand that there was a theft of building supplies there, and and burglaries and thefts and stuff like that is just not just here, but it's rampant everywhere. It's nationwide. It is nationwide, and unfortunately, a lot of people no longer want to do this job because of uh, publicity, whether it's yep. uh, good or bad mm -hmm. or uh, opinionated. And and right now, since you got me here, I would like to employ. Uh, if you want to help out your city, if you want to do what you can do, what John F. Kennedy to say, not ask what your city can do for you, but what you can do for your city, come see us. Come see the Solacaga Police Department because this is a great place to be. We have some of the most outstanding citizens here. Sure, we got uh, some bad apples, everybody does. However, we can make the city be the way it needs to be. Sylacauga Police Chief Rondell Muse, our guest this morning. Who's been uh, in law enforcement, some people that has helped you along the way? Well, if you remember uh, Billy Joe Pope, he was mm -hmm. a, he was a uh, deputy at Tyler County Sheriff's Department. Theodore Wilson, Sergeant Theodore yeah. Wilson here, uh, Sergeant Archie McNeil, uh, Jimmy Kilgore, Sheriff, and I met him. He was a sergeant. Uh, and, of course, Sheriff Jerry Stutter. He's the one that hired me and put me in the position. He always called me Moosey. He would never <laughs> say Moose, Moosey. 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 <laughs> but uh, I... I Frankie Wallace, there's a lot of them that helped me throughout my career. Uh, Robert Rumsey, he was district attorney when I started mm -hmm. and uh, took me under his wing in criminal and criminal justice and showed me some things. So I have a lot of people to attribute this to, this to. Chief, what are some changes uh, in technology that we need here with the Sylacauga Police Department? Well, one of the things I, I recently purchased as interim was for our investigations unit. I don't know if you remember the incident at First Baptist Church when an officer yes. had to engage somebody yes. in weapons fire. Mm -hmm. Well, when the state showed up to investigate that, because that's what they do when it's an officer involved shooting, they walked up into the parking lot, set a device right in the middle, and pressed the button, and they stepped back. Well, the device recorded the whole scene, diagrammed it, labeled the evidence, everything, while they stood there wow. and watched it. That was one of the very first things I purchased for us here. It makes the job simpler. And while this machine is going on and doing this, the investigators can be over soon mm -hmm. doing something else. So uh, that better body cameras automatically come on. You don't, you don't want to have to turn them on. You get out the car, they're on. And you know, that's you know. the thing, Chief, that I mean, you're you're in the heat of the moment as a police officer, and and you know you're engaging somebody, and then you gotta hit this button. You don't have to do that. You now, have right? to do that now. See, cops, and I'm not throwing out for the cops. I'm just gonna. The cops have to be counselors, doctors, <laughs> medics, lawyers, preachers. Preachers. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, uh, I remember when I first started here, I got a call to go over into the Drew Court Housing uh, Authority to light a gas stove. I'm like, say what? <laughs> yeah, go light that gas stove. I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna blow everybody up in here, but we'll do this. All right. Oh, uh, so but you have to do that in a split second, yeah. and then live with your decision for the rest of your life. So, that being said, you know, training, training, repetition, training, 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 and the equipment like you just said that'll help you. Well, you ain't gotta think about. It hitting this button, yeah. you get out and it comes on automatically. There's all kinds of, I don't know if you call them assault weapons, or, but there's all kind of illegal weapons out here too. Gawk switches, stuff that makes up. We had that incident in Birmingham a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago. Oh, and we have some here. Of course, once we get them, Alabama doesn't have a state law against Gawk switches, so it has to go federal. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll change or not. There's some representatives trying to fix mm -hmm. that. How, that being said, uh, you can buy them off Timu. It's crazy. Uh, it's it's 
it's it's sad that, like I said before, we have come to this. So we're going to do the best we can to keep silicon safe. So how, how, how cheap do we combat that at, at, with, with weaponry with our police department? I mean, well, you've got these big weapons cannons out here, and, and do we have equipment like that? that can... No, sir, but it, it's no matter if, if they have a, a tank and we just got a Glock, we're coming. Mm. That's what we're here to do. At that, time, at that point in time, it's not about us, it's about you mm. and the community. And uh, I would ask everyone, employ everybody out there, the days of Sherlock Holmes with a magnifying glass doing this and finding the answers to things are long gone. Yeah. See something, say something. Call Crime Stoppers, call us anonymous. Uh, keyboard Warriors, send us a fa Facebook tip. See something, say something. That's the only way we can get this done. Wow. Silicon Police Chief Rondell Mews, our guest this morning. Chief, thanks for coming by. I know uh, you're a busy man, but I thank you for taking the time to come in and, and visit with the people here in Silicon and the surrounding area. And we wish you the best, and our doors are always open if you need us. Thank you, sir. Silicon Police Chief Rondell Mews, our guest this morning here on Daybreak Live.